Hey everyone, welcome to another video. We've been talking about climbing anchors, um, but using separate pieces of gear from slings and cordelettes and so on. What we're now gonna focus on is building an anchor out of the climbing rope, which actually is probably the best material to use because it's incredibly strong. Um, you're definitely gonna be using it. It's already gonna be attached to you. And it's the most stretchy, shock absorbent material that you can uh, bring along with you. So um, it's a good bet. So as you can see, I'm uh, tied in with a figure eight and a stopper knot. And what I want to do is attach myself to these two pieces here. Now I may be doing this um, to, to belay from or just rest or whatever the case may be. Um, usually people do this on a multi-pitch climb um, when they know that they've got a belay station with two reliable bolts. So what I'm gonna do is get a length of rope, uh, let's say about that much. And what I want to do with this is tie a figure eight on a bite. So I'm going to leave a lot of slack here and I'm going to tie it from here. And if you're not sure how to tie a figure eight on a bite, just check out some of our other videos. And that's about right. And I've deliberately left a big loop here for reasons which will become clear in a second. Now I've not pulled this tight because what I want to do is put this rope back through the way it came. So we're gonna put it back through the top of the figure eight. We're not gonna put it all the way through, otherwise that'll untie it. But what we're left with are these, um, these loops here, these little bunny ears. So that's why some people call it the bunny ears anchor. So what we're now gonna do is with this loop that we've pulled back through the figure eight, we're gonna kind of go over the bunny ears and down so that it's kind of at the bottom of the figure eight knot. And then to dress that, we're gonna pull the bunny ears until that loop kind of tightens round the bottom of the knot, like so. So essentially what we've ended up with is a figure eight on a bite knot, um, but with an extra little loop down here. And of course we've got our, our top loop, which can be flexed out to the bunny ears, which will make the two arms of our anchor. And then what we can do is finish this off by clipping this into our pieces here and as you can see we've got a very reliable very strong um, anchor system here I mean the strength of it of course depends on the pieces that we're using but uh, the fact that it's made out of climbing rope is a massive bonus obviously this is my side here um, and I can bring up a second climber and belay using this side of the rope um, and I've left myself a bit of slack here deliberately so I can kind of move around. I'm not, you know, tied fixed to the anchor. I can just be at ease essentially. Um, so there we go. That's how to uh, construct an anchor out of the climbing rope. It's one of the easiest ways to do it. There are many different ways. Um, if you have more than two pieces, let's say you have three or four, there are more elaborate configurations using clove hitches and everything like that. And we'll cover that in the next video. So there we go, there's the bunny ears anchor. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.